Okay, so I have bicked out the emit occlusion, so you can see it here. And uh, one thing you have to notice that uh, uh, it won't bake correctly if you have uh, your normals going all over. So make sure that you recalculate your normals before you bake. Uh, you just use the shortcut, uh, select everything and then hit shift N to recalculate uh, the normals so that they are consistent uh, in uh, the direction they are facing. Otherwise, uh, you will notice that uh, some parts are really uh, dark and the uh, it, won't, it will seem like uh, there is nothing that has been baked there. Uh, so keep note of that. And uh, yeah, so let's work on the color or diffuse uh, shader. So yeah, we don't need any of this anymore. Uh, we do need the principal shader. So let's delete only the ambient occlusion and uh, this. So let's look at uh, uh, the textures that we have baked. So I'll just navigate uh, to the project folder here. March. Is it this? Yep. So you can see we have the cavity and the amid occlusion. Uh, we just need to work on this uh, color shader now, a uh, color map. So let's bring in uh, the amid occlusion and uh, is it called back? It's supposed to be amid occlusion. Hmm. Okay. So this is how the ambient occlusion looks. Uh, you can see it has a few issues uh, in some areas. I th let me see what's going on with uh, this here. Let's go to UVs. Hmm. Have they been moved? I think they have been moved for some reason. Let me so let me just move them back to position. Let me make sure that nothing has been moved here. Nothing else has moved. So let's go back to shading. Yeah, so I think uh, the ambient, ambient occlusion is good. Uh, another thing that I did when baking the ambient occlusion is that uh, I moved uh, these doors, uh, these doors. Uh, actually, what I did is I moved this outside uh, to the back so that uh, the, the inside here is not too dark because if, it's, if it is covered, uh, then the ambient occlusion uh, will render those, the insides uh, as too dark because that's how it, uh, because uh, it bakes, yeah, basically just more, just make sure that uh, it's open like that uh, so that uh, the back side of these are also bright and uh, the insides are also bright as well. So let me do this. Uh, let's look at the cavity map. You can see this is the cavity map and we're going to use this uh, to make, uh, to, to add those worn out areas. So let's find some textures and uh, to use uh, for that. Put this on my side screen here. And uh, find a few textures to use. So you're going to need some more textures so I can find uh, uh, there are a few places you can find free textures. Uh, you can find some uh, from Texture Haven or CC uh, Zero Textures uh, that are copyright free. Uh, so I have uh, this this one here uh, that I got from CC Textures. Uh, so you can use that as well. You can just go to CC Textures and fa and uh, search for CC Zero Textures dot com and search for uh, wood textures. And uh, yes, yeah, so let's see how this is going to work. Instead of using this, I'm going to use uh, the displacement displacement map, which is a black and white map uh, for this, uh, so that I have control over the color a bit. So, 
So what I want to do is mix two colors here. I'll first pick one like that and uh, maybe a darker one like that. And I mix the two using this factor node. It, uh, I can make this more contrasty by adding a math node, convert math node and change this to power and uh, increase the contrast here a bit or instead of using that let's just use a convert caram just to give us some a bit more contrast in here uh, I think we can also scale up uh, the texture so I'll add I'm using the shortcut ctrl T to get these texture coordinates uh, that uh, to, to, to have access to those shortcuts, you need to have the Node Wrangler add-on enabled. So I think this is a good scale. But now we can mix uh, this. Maybe what I can do is uh, let me see if I rotate. Yeah, you know, I think that's okay. Uh, maybe increase this scale a bit. I don't like how uh, the direction here is changing. So what I'm going to do is uh, create uh, different UVs. So I can create, go under UVs and uh, add a new UV uh, that I can change uh, the direction without disrupting uh, this UV here. So now if we go to this, let me remove this, uh, turn to texturing. I can even just select uh, this top side and unwrap that. Let me bring uh, the image we are using because I want these to follow the same direction. Let's see. Let's see. I'm not sure why then. Okay, let me first hide everything else and uh, make sure that uh, these islands follow the same direction. So if I select this and this, rotate the negative 90 degrees and see they're all going at least in the same direction. And uh, this here, uh, these doors, uh, I think should also just follow the same direction. So let me unwrap this. I think I need to rotate this 90 degrees, so rotate 90 degrees like that, so that it follows uh, vertically. And uh, this can, these drawers can uh, just, uh, the texture can run horizontally like that. Uh, I'm trying to follow the same pattern that uh, that is in here. It's very subtle, but uh, it is there. You can see these ones. Uh, the textures here are running vertically and uh, here I think they're running horizontally. Uh, so now that we have that, uh, we need to make sure that uh, uh, this texture is using uh, the second UV map. Yeah, the second UV map. Uh, okay, I, I did make a mistake here. Uh, before you change uh, the UVs for this object here, uh, make sure you give it a different UV map, so a second UV map. So then we can rotate this 90 degrees. So the first UV map is going to be for the baked uh, maps that we have. You can see if we switch between the different UVs, you can see how the texture uh, switches around. So let's go back here and uh, make sure that uh, uh, this here is using a different UV. So to use a different UV, just shift A, input UV map, and then select the second UV, then use that as your UV map. So we also need to 
have uh, the same UV for these objects. Uh, and uh, let's see. Also, so let me see what's going on here. this can be scaled up and select everything I think these uh, these, are, these would be uh, the legs can be scaled up so that uh, they have more detail in them so I'll select all four of them and scale them up uh, for this second UV it doesn't matter if uh, there is overlapping in the UVs because we're not going to be baking uh, those textures yet. Uh, I think these legs too need to be stretched up a bit. So let me see this here. I should also be stretched and maybe rotated 90 degrees uh, so that uh, that follows vertically like that. Yeah, I think we're good there. Uh, now we need to bring in our ambient occlusion. So uh, maybe let's yeah let's uh, first bring in uh, the ambient occlusion. So this is the ambient occlusion. I can add a mix RGB again here, and uh, we're going to pre multiply multiply this on top of that. It, uh, I think it's using the wrong UVs. Uh, so what we need to do here is add another UV map. Control T, then change this. UV input UV map you can delete this then select uh, the first UV map because that's that is what we use uh, the bag for okay this what's going on here I think I messed up the UVs a bit, so let's see. I messed up the, the UVs for this, so let me see how they look here. Yeah, I think I messed up the UVs for this. So what I'm going to do is uh, instead of uh, starting from scratch, uh, I'm just going to open up Blender and open uh, the backup uh, file, so recent opens, I think. So this is, okay, uh, this is, uh, should be this now. So I can just select uh, this, I can just select this here, copy, then come back here. I can delete this too. I can just delete that, then paste back this, and uh, uh, link this to this one here, Control L, object data. And, uh, now if we preview back the textures, also, we need this to have uh, that. You can see that uh, our ambient occlusion uh, is using the correct UVs. Uh, we just need to add a uh, second UV map, then unwrap that again. So uh, this here is going to be using uh, that texture coordinates. And I think I need to rotate these UVs as so that I think the texture is running from top to bottom like that and let's go, come back here now we need to mix these two so yeah, I think yeah they are being mixed uh, we have I've multiplied uh, the ambient occlusion over this texture and uh, to make that ambient occlusion more powerful I can just add I convert math node and change the operation to power and uh, increase uh, the ambient occlusion like that. Now we need to bring in our cavity map uh, to, uh, to create uh, those worn out areas. And uh, our cavity map is this here. So let's preview it for a second. Again, it's using the wrong UV. So let's add, uh, it's supposed to use this UV here. So control shift. Ctrl T to, to bring up the texture coordinates and uh, 
connect that USB 